You are a free man. And if they are going to get our services for war, then there is something that has to be agreed upon. We must sit down at a bargaining table and decide whether we will fight with you or not. Well, you say I needed a job. Shut up. Freedom gives you a perpetual job. You just want to continue a slave. But look at your puny will. Your silly control over your mind and its actions. You think you're any match for the will of God? He beats you into submission. Praise be to Allah. You sitting there in the church. I want you to listen, Reverend. Did you think that that is the house of salvation? Set up for you by the same people who brought you out of the marvelous light of God into darkness? It could be a house of salvation for you, but it is not the way it is now. The preachers are scared to death to challenge a wicked governmental authority. The preachers only want that which will enable them in their little small circle to be fat or well fed. Their bills paid and to be honored by the title reverent from white people. No, reverend, that is not the will of God. The will of God is that the flock go free. You have no salvation in that which you are preaching to your people. If you are preaching that they continue to be false Americans. What did you say, Farrakhan? You know you are not an American. Well, just a minute. If you're born in America, you are an American. I heard a man say once that if a cat has kittens in an oven, that doesn't make the kittens biscuits. You are born in America with no rights and privileges of an American. You were not brought here to be equal to the American citizen. You in your fathers were brought here to be the burden bearers of the American citizens. We must recognize that as a fact. And this is why even though you're the mayor, you're that black mayor. You're that nigger mayor. And we will not submit to your authority. And therefore there's a test of wills going on in the city council. There's a test of wills going on in the city. We wanted that black man as mayor and we voted him in. It was a test of will. But it's a struggle at every step. Whose will shall prevail? The Bible that wonderful book of information from which so much misinformation has been passed out declares that God in the last days shall seek out that sheep that was lost. He will find them and bring them again. Your Bible teaches you he will choose the despised and the rejected. This is his will. He consciously thought about it. He deliberated on it and acted. He would choose a foolish people who are no people at all. He would be their God and they would be his people and he would make of them a royal
priesthood, a peculiar nation carved out for his glory. That's his will. If, as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has said, you and I are that peculiar people, that foolish people, that lost people, that rejected people, and God Almighty has made his appearance in the world to choose you for his own, and America has been told for 40 years, let them go to serve their God and be an independent people for the glory of God, and the government of America says, no, I will not, then it's a test of wills. It's a test of wills between the United States government and the will of Almighty God. We already know who's going to win. The winner has already been declared. The prophets wrote that before we were born. And now the God is whipping America. Lashing her. The two playgrounds, Florida and California. He's given you an example of what he thinks of your sport and play. He burned up 29 counties out of 62 in Florida. And over a 12 state region in the West, over a million acres on fire and still burning. Still burning. What is the God telling you? Fire this time. Fire this time. I want you to move, America, so I'm setting you on fire. I want you to move in the proper direction, America, so I'm burning you up. Not only am I burning up your fields and burning up your cities and burning up your towns and burning up your places of, uh, of dwelling, but I have set fire to your minds with the presence of the life-giving truth that will set your slaves free. I'm burning up your institutions. I'm burning up the atmosphere over America with a truth that cannot be put out with lies. Aaron and Moses went before Pharaoh and uh, Pharaoh cast first. And there was a serpent. And Moses cast his rod. And the serpent of Moses ate up the serpent of Pharaoh. What does it mean? It means that the government has cast it. Has cast lies in the public. Now the servant of the deliverer casts and his rod is eating up what Pharaoh has cast. Truth eats up falsehood. And the truth that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad left for us and with us uh, for us to be the custodian of it is a fire that is burning up the darkness in the minds of both black and white. For the government of America has not only deceived black people, but she has deceived her own people. The will of God. God desires that a nation be built out of black people. Yes, sir. Is God a racist? No. He has no part in that. He didn't choose you because you were black. He chose you and me or chose you and me because our suffering undeserved brought us into a state of nothingness where God could make himself known in the world as in the beginning he made light out of nothing so will he take a people that are nothing and make out
out of them a life and light-giving son. You call him the son of God. God has no son. But when you say Christian son of God,